Hi, I'm Chris Guisi. In this episode, I'll take you through what happens to your exam between administration and results so that you can understand that timeline for releasing results. After you take your exam, the exam data is sent securely from the test center to Prometric, where it is consolidated and then made available to CFA Institute. Because we have tens of thousands of candidates all over the world, this process may take several days after the window has officially closed to be completed. And while we wait for the data, we review the actual exam day experience. We take a look at things like candidate comments. If we get something wrong with a test question, this is often the place we find out about it. For example, if a question appeared to be confusing in some way, this process flags it for closer scrutiny. We review the statistics of individual exam questions as well. These statistics indicate whether each question did a good job sorting out those that know the content well from those that don't. Consolidated data undergoes an intensive reconciliation and data quality review. This involves validating that we have all the results and that those results are keyed to the right people. If we discover an error, we then determine the way to handle the situation that's most fair to candidates. Fortunately, that tends to be a relatively infrequent occurrence, and the remedy is decided on a case-by-case -case basis. Official analysis then begins, once all of the data is in hand. We validate that each version of the exam performed is expected. The essay portions of the Level 3 exams are hand-graded, and this process involves meticulous training and collaboration among graders, and that adds a few weeks to the timeline, especially since we grade in multiple rounds. Exam papers that are anywhere near the cut score are graded as many as three times by different people to make sure that we are being consistent in how we apply the grading rubric. After that, standard setting begins. That's the process I described in our last episode, which takes about two or three days to complete. And that culminates in our recommended passing score for the exam. An automated process then generates the report that you ultimately receive. Quality Assurance double checks those reports for accuracy and then we move on to the next step, which is the actual release, which is scheduled for a day and time that ensures as much bandwidth as possible because just about everyone, understandably, starts hitting the system at once for their results. Now I hear you asking, shouldn't computer-based testing results come more quickly? The present timeline gives us time to reconcile all the data we're getting from our testing administrator, to make sure all of our calculations across many exam versions are all correct, and to make sure all of our processes were executed correctly to culminate in the right score and result for each candidate. You put in a lot of time and effort into preparation, and likewise, we want to put in the time and effort to make sure we're properly grading your exams. We are working toward greater automation of our processes, and as we gain confidence in that automation, then we'll be in a position to begin shortening the timeline. Thank you.